Hey girl, hey, welcome to Getting Younger. Hi guys, I'm your host and fellow younger addict, Taylor Strecker, coming to you live from Union Square in New York City. We have so much to talk about tonight. Uh, two words, really, Charles knows. Ugh. Last week, the Me Too movement finally caught up with Ella Moore, and then he came for Liza, and then I had a panic attack. I don't know about you, but I wanna know if you had a panic attack as well. And don't forget, this is a show for you. It's for younger fans by younger fans, so send us your questions your comments, and your panic attacky feelings. Okay, we also want to uh, start our polls for the night, so get your votes in right now, and let's get to our first poll of the night. Here it is. How did you feel now that Charles finally knows the truth about Liza? Okay, relieved, nervous, excited, or whatever. I really hope it's not whatever, because whatever's like, you don't care, and we care very deeply here. Okay, guys, so get your votes in now, and uh, we'll get to them in about five minutes. I'm sure by now you're wondering who our guests are of the night, so I'm about to reveal them. But first, let's uh, talk about last week. We teased that Jennifer Westfeld was going to be joining us. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to make tonight's show. We love you, and we can't wait to have you on, girl, for another episode. Okay, now for tonight's amazing guests. Uh, you may not know this, but there is now a marriage vacation book in real life, and you can find out what actually happened on page 58. I'm so excited. And we have the author here tonight, Joe Piazza. Hi. <laughs> also, we have who Variety Senior, correspondent, co-host of Page Six TV, and fellow younger addict like me, Elizabeth Wagmeister. Welcome, you guys. Thank you show. so much for having us. I'm so excited to be here. I know, it's gonna be so much fun. I know. First of all, your resume, girl. I know we were talking about it backstage, but we were saying we all have like eight jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Got to hustle, just like the girls in Younger, right? Got to hustle. We are all busy, busy ladies. And you know what busy ladies need? Cocktails. Yes. Yes, okay. Let's not forget the cocktail of the night. It's called Mudslide Into My DMs. And after a couple of these, everyone I follow on social media is going to be getting a lot of cat memes. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, guys, so let's cheers right now so to oh drinking until we get annoying. Cheers. cheers. I love it. Okay. I, love it. I get, I get kind of needy when I drink. <laughs> so just get ready for the hugs. For mm. sip? For sip? Yeah. Delicious. What do we think of the drink? We mm. like it? Yeah, that is so good. That's so yep. good. I say we also do one more cheers to Hillary Duff being pregnant. Oh so my gosh, cheers. congratulations. And we'll take cheers. a sip for her because she yes. can no longer have a sip. No Very true. Mm -hmm. Nine months or so. Plus, we can just cheers all night long because this delicious drink so is Oh my gosh, beyond. it's like candy. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't drink too much. I gotta stay focused. <laughs> you guys, please drink away. And then we'll start talking about page 58. Yes. Oh, girl. All night long. We are getting to page 58. We must be getting to page 58. Okay, so now that we're all saucy, uh, let's get in to the actual show itself. So last week's epic ending uh, was beyond. L. L. Moore blew up Liza's spot. We need to take a look. This one has absolutely zero credibility. That's Liza. We did some investigation. She represents herself as a young woman in her 20s. The fact is, she's a divorced 40-something housewife from New Jersey. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, you didn't know? Birth certificate, marriage license, bankruptcy report. The woman is a con artist. I mean, he's a monster, a literal monster. So the fans are voting right now. While they're voting, let's talk about our reaction to that clip, that episode. I was shook. Uh, Joe, we'll start with you. I'm so relieved. <laughs> I've never felt better. Really? Yes. I just, I, it was killing me that he didn't know. I needed him to know it was, it was time. Time was up. But so, from L.L. Moore, of all people. I no, I know, I know. I mean, it was a horrible, horrible way to find out. But now that it's out there, I just, I feel better about the world. You just, you don't like the secrets. I don't like the secrets. Don't like the secrets. No, secrets. no, no, my anxiety has gone from like here to here. <laughs> okay, well, thank yeah. God for that. I don't even need that cocktail right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what's interesting is I have been wanting Charles to know mm -hmm. since forever, but now that he found out this way, uh -huh. I feel heartbroken over it because I've always had this theory in my head. I don't know if you guys share this or if some of the fans share it, but I thought 
that if and when Charles found out Liza's real age, he would want her more. He'd be like, great, me too, yeah. around the same totally, age, we can get together. Totally appropriate. But yeah. now he thinks that she's a fraud and yes. a fake, and I, I'm heartbroken because Ugh. I'm Team Charles. Your team, Charles. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's just do this thing right now. Let's okay. do it. Let's just do it. What team? Team Charles. Team Charles. Team Charles. Well, guys, I'm happy I'm over here in my own little island because <laughs> I am Team Josh. Wait, why Team Charles? Explain yourselves. Charles is a grown. <laughs> <laughs> thought about this, guys. Charles is a grown man, and I mean, I think for a long time I would have been Team Josh, right? Right. And I reach an age where I'm like, you know what? I want a guy who's got his stuff together. I want a guy who's also already been broken in. A guy who, Ooh. like, another woman Ooh. has fixed his rough edges. And we find out about how she fixed those rough, rough edges in marriage vacation. Yes, I do. I don't want to train another man. And, like, I feel like Josh still needs so much training. Mm -hmm. That's a really good argument. Okay, Elizabeth? I agree with you. I think Josh is the perfect fun guy for so Liza. Fun. And was so fun yeah. in the first few seasons. Yeah. And that's what she needed at that moment in her life. Mm -hmm. But I agree with you. I think she needs an older man. And I mean, they're both really good looking. They're both but like, so good looking. I mean, I'm not gonna say no to Josh. Right. No. No. Never. But how could you Liza. say no to Charles? I would also not say no to Charles. Did you hear that noise? Can we get it one more time? Liza. Okay, that noise means, we're gonna hear it a lot of times during the show. It means our results are in for the poll. So let's find out what you guys thought. How do you feel now that Charles finally knows the truth about Liza. Okay, so the majority of you, 53% of you said nervous. I'm thrilled that that's the response and it's not whatever. Whatever would have infuriated me. I'm really happy whatever got zero. Me yeah. too. I, you guys can see that? Wow, you're better than I. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> With the writers, I just said that joke. Okay, so uh, I, I was so nervous. I am still nervous. Uh, where were you guys on that, you know, nervous spectrum? I'm not not nervous. Not not no, nervous. No, no, no. I mean, I, like, I'm, I'm nervous for Liza. I am. I think, like, I'm nervous for the season. That's what I have to say. Me too. But also excited nervous. for the season. Well, it's, I feel like it, it's going to have to be dramatic in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. You know what's interesting? So I interviewed Darren Starr right before the season started, and I interviewed him before I watched the first episode, and he promised me things were going to be shaken up like they've mm -hmm. never been before. Yep. We're going to really get into the characters in a much deeper way. I mean, he delivered on his promise. I felt nervous, but also excited but also for the excited. season because yeah. clearly there has to be more layers and a lot more revealed now, but yep. I'm nervous. I okay. don't know. I feel like he was, he's gonna be mad. Well, oh, he's gonna be more than I'm that. happy you asked that question because yeah. it's time for our second poll of the night. You guys did such a great job with the first one. Here's another one for you. So now that Charles knows Liza's secret, how should he handle it, in your opinion? It could also be your hopes and dreams. That's what we do here with the polls. So uh, confront her, <laughs> uh, propose to her, oh. fire her, or play dumb. Vote right now and we'll get your results again in about four or five minutes. Okay, what do we think? You go first this time. Okay. I, I'm a person that you have to put everything out there. If you hide things and keep it in, yes. it's gonna blow up because it's gonna build up inside. So I would hope that Charles says, I'm in love with her and who cares what this is all about? I need to hear it from her. So I would hope that he confronts her and even if he's mad, he listens. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that's what I would hope, but I feel like that, I don't know, that sounds too good to be true. Your hopes <laughs> in reality might not coincide. Correct. Okay, Joe? Correct. I think that is a wonderful hope. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, but I am a realist. Uh -huh. I am a realist. <laughs> I think he is going to play dumb, because that is what Charles does. I feel like Charles, as we know, is not very good at communicating. True. Which is why his wife left for a little while. Oh, are we really gonna take that stance? It's gonna be an interesting conversation. So, <laughs> I think that he is not going to confront her right away. I agree with you. Yeah. Okay. Our hopes and reality hopes are and reality very, 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 two very different ends of the spectrum. Yeah. Well, time will tell very soon, actually, because the episode is rapidly approaching. So, questions for you guys. I have a bunch, and we also, Audience questions, please submit them in the comment section below and uh, anything you want at all, anything. So I have a bunch of questions for you guys. Joe, I have to ask, how did you come to be involved in Marriage Vacation? Um, so I got very, very lucky. I had just finished up another novel called Charlotte Walsh Likes to Win with the wonderful editor Christine Pride at Simon & Schuster. And we had such a good experience working with each other when Marriage Vacation came up. She was like, 
let's do this. And I was a huge fan already. So I mean, so it, was like, it was like, oh my gosh, like someone is hiring me to like write this book that I already kind of wrote in my head. Like, <laughs> as I watch a show. And, and wait, you're, you're gonna like, let me binge watch the show as like research. It's like, I'm um, like technically getting paid I'm to watch I'm show. technically getting paid to rewatch a show that I love. Same. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like the greatest gift of the world. Greatest job of all time. Um, and we did it really quick. I mean, we did it in about six weeks. What? Wow. And How? Yeah, I mean, it was a lot of back and forth and a lot of, I mean, we, we wrote a lot of the book together, like text and plot points back and forth. And yeah. How was it to it like, out. write as a character's character? So, well, so I mean, this is like the most meta book of all time. Right. Of course. Right? And like, I can't even, in the beginning, I couldn't even explain it to people. I'm like, <laughs> so it's a book that was on a show by a fictional character. It's like this Russian and doll. And now mm -hmm. it's like, and now right. it's a real book. book and I'm, un <laughs> I'm unpacking it. And it was, it was really tough because, I bet. you know, we kind of had a plot, but we kind of didn't. And we had to make her likable because we want you to finish reading the book. Right. We also don't want to make Charles unlikable because team Charles right. here, but right. she still has to leave him. So how do we get her to leave him? And then how do we get her to stay gone for a whole year when all we all want to do is climb in bed with Charles? Yes. Like, I would never leave Charles. Well, speaking of that, and this question's for both of you. So what do we think? And I know that you are in Pauline's head, Joe. So you yeah. can probably, you, maybe you'll, you'll be a little bit more compassionate mm -hmm. than Elizabeth and myself. I can't yeah. Yeah. Um, But what did you think about the fact that she left her family for a year? Like, is that an unforgivable thing to do? I mean, in our society, it's pretty taboo. It's really taboo, taboo, and I was thinking about it too. So much of the show is about how Liza is such a good mother. Yes. Right? Mm. And like she does all of this for her daughter. Mm. And then Pauline leaves her too, and they're young girls, and I just became a mom. I can't imagine leaving my child for a right. year. And so like, how did we write that into a plot and not make her unlikable? She's a mother who leaves her children. How? Well, Read the book. You're gonna have to find Read the out. book. Now, I told you this backstage, but I have to confess. So one of the best parts about being a journalist who covers the television industry is we get screeners early, we get mm -hmm. parts of press kits early. So Marriage Vacation was sent to me at Variety. And I have the book, it's on my kitchen table. I'm reading it this weekend, but I have to confess, I read page 58. Of course you did. No. So that's the one page that I've read. Wait, yeah. Tell me, because I have yet to read it. I and can't I tell you. I kind of get the gist of it, though. Mouth. <laughs> Couple this. Here's a question. So from season four, did we actually, as audience, get a good gist of what 58 holds in it? Or, or is it even more crazy than I can even begin to imagine? I think you have a good idea. Mm -hmm. On a scale when, of kink. Well, I mean, over 10. Like, you it's went over, full kink. Oh, you know, we went, well, we went say, full kink. But I have to yeah, tell you, we, went, we did all the kink. It's funny because yeah. when I was reading it, I felt like the characters in Younger who were like, oh my God, oh my, oh my God, we're learning this about Charles, and it's so <laughs> crazy. Oh my God, I feel so good so, you felt that way. I, I honestly can't wait to read it. And I also, I think it's so amazing that your name is nowhere no. in the book. I mean, you went full character, full, full character, meta. Yeah. It says the authors by Pauline. And I was flipping through the pages. I'm like, where's Joe's name? She needs to get some credit. So I'm glad you're here talking about it. <laughs> yeah, no, but, I think but it was way more fun. Like we didn't like, we didn't want my name on it. We wanted it to really feel like Pauline. Liza. That was, that was important to me. It's really cool. Well, you know what that noise means. <laughs> we have more poll results. So let's get to our second poll of the night. Now that Charles knows Liza's secret, how should he handle it? And 75% of you said confront. I like this audience mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. I think that it's the right way to go about things. I do. Yeah, no, I want him to get it, get it out there. Yeah, 5% just... said propose. Look. I mean, I'm that never gonna hate that. Right? I'm not gonna that say, could be no. wishful thinking, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. That hey, would be nice. I honestly don't know. Yeah. Maybe, okay. Uh, it's time for another poll because you guys are doing oh so well. This one is a fun poll. Doesn't, you know, you have to rack your brain or your heart too much. Uh, which of these younger spinoffs would you most like to watch? We have Diana Trout in Older. We have Charles <laughs> Kids in Younger Er. Uh, Pearl the Advice Giving Dog Show. Or uh, Josh in Ink Master Brooklyn. Oh. Yes, okay, so take your votes now. What are you guys voting for? Ink Master Brooklyn. Oh. <laughs> because Josh. Because Josh. Because Josh. Yeah. Because Josh. I'm going for Diana's show, but I don't want to call it older because I don't think that we should. Because I don't think she's not she, that much older. No, exactly. No, we should no. just call it Diana. We should call it <laughs> yeah. necklaces. 
Necklaces. Ne <laughs> yeah. Yes. I honestly, I, I mean, all the characters are so great. All the actors are amazing. But every time she's on screen, I just, I laugh. Like I'm in a room by myself, so right? Happy. Not watching my friends, and I just crack up. Yeah. You know what's so trippy? So last uh, last week of Getting Younger, after it was over, we watched with Darren Starr uh, the actual season five premiere, and Miriam was here laughing at Diana. Whoa. Whoa. That's meta. That is I'm, meta. That's mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> mind blown. I had to impress you guys. Okay, so uh, are you ready for a game? Sure. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. I'll, I'll give you your props in one second. Just okay. hang tight. So you guys are both writers. So let's play a, a game based on uh, books. This is Younger or Pulitzer. So here's how it works. Feel, I'm gonna be so bad I'm going to read a book You're synopsis. <laughs> and you have to tell me if this book is a fake book from Younger or an actual Pulitzer Prize winner. You can do that, right? This is gonna be hard. I can tell you, if I, I had like, the answers, I would be completely screwed. I feel like you're talking yourself down because you know you're going to win. You're the <laughs> author here, you're the novelist. Nope, nope, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pretending, I, I swear. Okay. okay, so we have paddles okay. for you. Okay. One paddle says Pulitzer, uh -huh. other is younger, so there you go. Perfect. And don't forget guys, you are in competition and you are competing for a prize. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, well, okay. that just stepped it up a little so bit. So, I was going to say, I'm going to take a sip first. Oh, right, cheers. cheers. Friendly competition. Friendly competition. <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. This show's about women who are nice to women. We all have to support Thank each you other. for carrying the brand. Mm -hmm. I no, appreciate this, that. This is an empowering show. Yes. Yeah. So, here's book number one mm -hmm. The story of 12 year old, a 12 year old Union soldier who uses his scarf to save a Confederate soldier's life and how that act affects his family for generations. Younger or Pulitzer? Mm -hmm. You are correct. Joe, what did I say? Younger. What did I say? Younger. What did I say? <laughs> but that one sounds like a Pulitzer. Right? Yes. Yes. It's the I was waffling there, but. Yes. Yeah. And right. I believe it was Anna Gasteyer. Anna Gasteyer yes. played. Yep, yes. and she yes. came on and yeah. she. Uh, and she hoodwinked she everyone. Yep. She played she did. it. She did. Yeah. It okay. just sounded so serious the way that you said it. it I know. I'm. I'm I'm trying to fool you. Okay. Be aware. Good job. Book number two, this book explores the months and years following the dissolution of a woman's 30 plus year marriage. I'm not looking at you, Joe. I don't even know. Your not knowing was correct. You were both right with Pulitzer. Yeah, it was. Okay. It's called uh, Stag's Leap. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> I, heard, I got a woman really in could, marriage. Really it could have gone either way. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Joe is winning. Yes. I, what did I say? But two to one. You're not okay. far behind. Okay. 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 Number three, the book focuses on uh, Sasha, a passionate and troubled young woman in NYC, and her boss, Benny, an aging former punk rocker and record exec. Rias or fakes? You guys are smart. Yes, it's a Pulitzer. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a Jennifer Egan book. Help me out book. here. <laughs> what is this? I can't read or write. That one's good. <laughs> Do you guys know what the book it's from? Visit from the Goon Squad. She's right. A Visit from the Goon Squad. Wow. I have the answer in front of me, and I still couldn't yeah. figure out what it was. I am <laughs> so impressed. It's a good book. It's a good book. Maybe yeah. I shall read it. Okay, number four. <laughs> so where are we now? We are still one ahead. Yes. Okay, book four. Martha, the last known passenger pigeon, struggles to find her place in a world where she is the last of her kind. Ooh. Jen. It is actually younger. Joe is now two ahead. Yes. Can you believe it? I yes, I can. That would make Joe <laughs> the can. winner. Oh. That would make Joe the winner. So guess what you win, Joe? Congratulations. A copy of Marriage of Vacation? You get a copy <laughs> of Marriage Vacation. I don't have enough. Available for purchase now. I don't have enough of those at the house. <laughs> Wait, so I have a question. Holding this book Liza. in your hand. How, oh, oh, God. God. How exciting is that, though, to hold this book in your hand? <laughs> it's pretty. I mean, it's, right? pretty, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. I mean, it came. Like, it's so pretty. It is. It is so pretty. Like, you, know, Elizabeth, you get one too. Oh, <gasps> thank you. There you go. I, I know you have one. But My second copy. copy. Just a second one. I get to give it to a girlfriend now. You gift it. <laughs> so we heard Diana's voice, and that Liza. means our results are in. I got it, Diana. Our <laughs> results are in for poll number three. Uh, which spinoff show would you guys want to watch? And the majority of you said. 67% Ink Masters. Ink Masters. I get it. Josh is hot. We all love him. I just want to see him take his shirt off. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> I told them I can't hear them half the time. So they, they were fairly warned ahead of time. Okay, well, tonight's episode of Younger is literally moments away. And we're going to give you a sneak peek. This is what happens next. Uh, I'm going to play a clip of 
the show from tonight. And uh, at a specific moment, an important moment, I'm going to freeze it, and then you're gonna vote on what happens next. So let's do this. Good morning. Nicole just asked me why mommy and daddy sleep in separate rooms. Maybe you can walk him to school today and explain. I would be happy to. Look, they just want to know if we're ever getting back together. Freeze! Okay, sorry, that's a little intense, I apologize. <laughs> okay, we play that every single week, by the way, so you get to hear me scream freeze for 10 more getting younger. <laughs> All right, so what happens next, according to you? What do you guys think or hope Charles is going to say to Pauline? Is he gonna say, hit the sheets or hit the streets? Vote now uh, in the comment section below. Okay, guys, what do we think? Sheets or streets? Elizabeth, I'm gonna start with you, because okay. I she's inside of I the was nation. gonna say, I feel like you know. I know. Because you are Pauline, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. very confusing. I like, don't know who I'm sitting next to. <laughs> I okay. thought she was Pauline. I, my husband doesn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he's going to say, hit the streets because this goes into my theory that Charles wants to be with Liza. Yes. And that he won't be upset mm -hmm. over finding out her truth and he'll propose to her and it'll be a happy ending and it'll be great. Okay, fingers fan crossed. Fan fiction here. Yes, fan yes. Fiction. I, I actually think? already wrote some fan fiction. Um, I, all, I agree, he's going to say hit the street, but wouldn't it be fun if he was like, hey, why don't we pay, page 58? Oh, oh. Be, well, then what would that, uh, what, 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 would that, what would that mean? What would, would he be doing? You know, it would, it would be a kink level of 10. I mean, the second the show is over, I'm going and reading page Just, I'm going to read it the to you. Second. I'm going to read it. I had some I'm restraint. Going to read it out, right now. out loud to you. Okay, okay you guys yeah. have been submitting some amazing fan questions, and now it is about time to get to some of them. So this one comes from Becky S. Do you think they will fire Liza? And by they, I think we mean Charles. Yeah. Wait, what do we think? No, I don't. You don't. I don't, because I think that Liza is crucial to the future of the company and he doesn't want to embarrass the company. So no, I don't think that Liza's getting fired. Elizabeth, agree? I agree. I also don't think she's getting fired because the thing that I love about this show is there's such an emphasis on women in the workplace yes. and friendship, yeah. but it shows how important their careers are to their identity and you can't just rip that away from her. No. I would hope not. I would no. hope not. We have one more fan question coming up, but real quick before we get to it. Oh, it beat me. Okay, fine, it wins. <laughs> Jackie C, do you think Josh regrets his wedding? Yes. Yeah. I do. Yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah. 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 Unanimously. Yes. Great. That means I get to ask my question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Elizabeth, you, I mean, a lot of this episode, episode mm -hmm. one, was about Me Too. Mm -hmm. And you actually were right up in there for mm -hmm. Me Too. You, I mean, it, the Matt Lauer story, you mm -hmm. broke that news. Mm -hmm. What was that like? It was very tough, obviously. I mean, mm -hmm. as a journalist, you need to focus on the facts and the accuracy and not let your emotions get in the way, but as a woman myself, so hard. it is hard. Yeah. But I just have to say the women that I spoke with, and I, I broke that story with my colleague at Variety, Ramin Satude, and we were working for over two months on it. Wow. And just talking to all these women, it just really gave me hope because they were so brave and so courageous and really gave me hope for the future of all women out there. Mm -hmm. So I think all of us, whether we've worked on it or not, just from reading, we've all kind of been a part of this movement. It's like nothing we've ever seen before. Yeah. And I think we have to just look at the bright side, which yes. is that hopefully we're heading towards more progress for women in every industry and more equality. And hopefully we don't have to deal with this. Deal with it, yeah. And, and it's such a good story. You did such a good job. It Thank was you. wonderful. Really, yeah. And also, I have to give a nod to the writers of Younger for including that storyline in the first episode of season five. What do we yes. think about that? I thought it was so away. brave. I was, blo I was blown right? away when I found out. I yes. was not expecting I was, that no. at all. No, and I don't think that any other, like, you know, pop culture show, like, no one else has addressed it that way. Uh -uh. Like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh. Like, th th that's a huge moment. And you know what I love too? They, the writers really, I thought it brought a very unique yeah. way of yeah. telling it because it wasn't someone who was necessarily sexually assaulted. Right. Mm -hmm. It was someone who felt uncomfortable yep. by verbal harassment. It was grayish. But it, yes, it was grayish. but that shows that yeah. as women, we shouldn't have to listen to that and feel uncomfortable and by any- grayish. Right, oh, by any yeah. man. So I, that's what I really applaud the it writers for. It was thoughtful, that's yes, the thing. Like, it, it didn't feel gratuitous. Nope. Mm -hmm. It felt like they really took the time to do it in an authentic way. I walked away from the episode being like, I just feel like I thought about this 
I've been thinking about this for months and I just thought about it in a completely new way for the first time. So mm -hmm. round of applause. Round of applause. Good job. Younger. Liza. Younger. And there we have it. Okay, it's our final poll results of the night. What do you think Charles is going to say to Pauline? Is he gonna say, hit the sheets or hit the streets? And 97% of you guys said hit the streets. Yeah. You're pretty smart. Although I can't confirm or deny that that is what's gonna happen in tonight's episode. But guess what? We're gonna find out very soon because tonight's episode, Younger, is about to start. Thank you guys so much for joining me, Joe and Elizabeth. And uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Also, don't forget, pick up a copy of Marriage Vacation. It's out now. You can literally find literally. out what happens on page 58. Um, and also catch Elizabeth on page 6 TV. Thank She's you fabulous. so much She's for having fabulous. us. This was so much fun this sitting down fantastic. with you. Of yeah. course. This thank you, Kelly. This thank you guys so, so much. Also, thank you, Rent the Runway. We were talking backstage. Mm -hmm. This is all Rent the Runway, and we were all saying how much we love Rent the Runway. It's yes. so good. It's a Rent the Runway Unlimited. Yeah, so fabulous. fabulous. I revitalized my it's closet. So, right? It's so good. Yes. And of course, thanks to the fans for making the show the show. We literally can't do it without you, so thank you so much. And next week, we'll be back with guest star Charles Michael Davis, AKA Zane, AKA Yum. Uh, and also, between now and then, be sure to check out uh, our podcast, Younger Uncovered. It's weekly, hosted by moi, and Hilary Duff is on this week's episode tomorrow, so check that out. And we leave you now with some bloopers from tonight's episode. See you next week, guys. I read three novels a week. It's like 1,000 Instagram stories. Are you 41? <laughs> I'm very... <laughs> you gotta let me go. You love something. You have to let it go. Oh, I did touch things. Like, it's porn. Okay. It's, it, now it's porn, but you can't say. Shut up. Stop <laughs> judging me, <laughs> Duff. <laughs> Duff. Duff smiling at me. <laughs> Stop it. Who's your friend? Oh, my God. I don't slip in a... In a... <laughs> <laughs> I think boogers came out of my nose in that one. <laughs> Reese is a powerhouse who wants to embrace our nation. Under God, indivisible. <laughs> Reese is a powerhouse who wants to embrace, embrace. Reese is a powerhouse who, who wants to embrace our next gener. I'm sure Charles has a good reason yeah. for not taking this deal. I'll tell you the reason. <laughs> I know it, I know it. I just can't say it right now. <laughs> No, it God, no. Really gross. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see some more? Younger. <laughs> hmm. This is what we do for a living. I love it. I could always, you know, hire you freelance. You could come <laughs> me. What is it? I'm oh, sorry. Sure. <laughs> you got that offer on tape. <laughs> Subscribe to Younger Uncovered. The podcast dedicated to all things younger.